Okay, exercise number three. Uh, our project will be 3D metal panels, but you're going to create first the 2D versions of your 3D panels, and then we're going to copy paste that into 3D environment. Okay, so let's start. So I have these five panels here. I'm going to copy them by selecting them with my cursor and Control C and switch on the other drawing file and Control V to paste. There you go. I'll be switching my view to South East Isometric or maybe Southwest. Okay, and I want them to be aligned along the axis. So what I'm going to do is to command for 3P and just create straight lines, two segmented lines. Okay, then I'm going to align things. Okay, AL enter. Sabi niya, select objects. I'm done selecting. Uh, I'm going to click this endpoint here, up here, uh, this one going here, and this one going there. Okay, so there you go. I can switch to top view and okay so they're just good being this orientation so can that south is okay so we have the main frame as the tubular wherein its dimension is uh, 4 inches all over and 2 inches thick so there you go so let us just copy this one because we will be using it uh, from time to time. Okay, so I'm going to extrude this. Select this and this one, enter. And then our thickness is 0 0.05 or 2 inches. There you go. Now, if you're going to look at the conceptual or realistic, what we have will be uh, the smaller uh, box is not actually visible. Uh, what we're going to do is to use the command subtract. So we're going to click subtract and then select object. So anong object yung babawasan natin. So you can select this one, enter, and then select object. Or letter anong object yung ibabawas. Select this and there you go. Okay, so we're good with the frame. Next thing is we're going to uh, create this rectangles. They are actually made of square bar. Uh, size nila or thickness nila is one half inch. So you cannot go higher than that. Masyada na siyang mabigat. So again, uh, that's extrude. Okay, I'm going to select this and this. Enter. And then I'm going to type uh, for the thickness. Nagtatanong siya. So that will be 0 0.0125. That's half an inch. And then again, let's subtract. So, select this command. Select objects or anong object yung babawasan natin. Ito yon. So, after selecting this, press enter. You are again prompted to select another object. Ibig sabihin, yung object na isa-select mong pangalawa, that will be the object na ibabawas mo. Okay? So, I'll be selecting the smaller box. Enter. There you go. And, I'm going to extrude this one. EXT. Enter. Select this. Enter. And I'll be clicking here and EXT OLED. I'll be selecting this and 0 0.0125. Okay. But as you can see, we're going to switch to 2D wireframe. Okay. So here's our object, but I doubt I have to check it 3DO. So hindi siya tumama. Okay. So to double check, I'm going to switch my visual style to realistic. So, it did not meet. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to switch back to 2D wireframe and south east isometric. I'll just be moving this M. Select ko to, Enter. I'll take the midpoint to the midpoint. There you go. And just copy this. Okay. And I'll just take the end point there. Sorry. CO. Select this and that, and this part. I'll take it from here. Okay. Then just simply copy things as they are redundant. Instead of creating them again and again. Okay. Now, this one, medyo nag-excess siya, but hayaan natin. 
subtract, we can always subtract for later. Or there are items kung hindi siya obvious, uh, pwede naman kahit hindi. Okay. There you go. Then I'm going to copy things. C-O-Enter. Okay. So I'll be picking this as my base point. This is one. This is a uh, second point of displacement or destination. Yeah. So click. And another one dun sa kabila. Click. Enter. We're good. So next thing is we're going to move things. Or we're just going to copy this one. So let's see. CO enter. I'll be selecting this. Enter. Click the midpoint and to the midpoint here. There you go. So I'll just check the realistic. And then 3DO to check. So okay naman. Nakagitna naman yung object. Or if you want, you can move it. Okay, there you go. We're good with the first metal plate. So let's go back with 2D wireframe. And that will be uh, southeast. Okay, don't forget to quick save. That's control S. Next one is we've got a series of arcs. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to create a rectangle, REC. So I'll be picking one point, then type at 0 0.0125. Because again, I will just be using a... Uh, one half inch uh, square bar. Okay. So, meron siyang part na para nagiging edgy. So, let us just try to RE or regen. There you go. If meron siyang hindi nagmimit, tagay nyo lang. Ha, okay. So, copy. Copy ko siya dito. And then, sweep. Select object to sweep. So, I will be selecting that tiny rectangle. Enter. Select and enter. And, nagtatanong siya ng sweep path. So, this arc will be my path. Okay? And, click. Okay. So, you can copy that uh, tiny rectangle out of the other uh, path or arcs. Okay. So, I'm going to copy three dito. Kasi tatlo sila. Or sorry, I'm going to move this dito. Okay, so again, that's sweep. Select this, enter, and click the path. Click. Okay, so little net and sweep. Select this, enter, and this will be my path. Okay, and a little little lang. I'm going to copy the same rectangle. Okay, so sweep. Select this, enter and click. And select. There until uh, everything gets done. So you just have to copy this tiny rectangle here. And up there. Okay lang kung meron nag-exceed. Kasi uh, matatago naman siya dun sa frame. Just like this excess. But if you're a bit uh, perfectionist, you can uh, as well subtract this excess part of your 3D uh, square bars. Okay? So again, that's sweep. Select this, enter, and click this. Okay? And last one, this part. Okay, so that's sweep. Select this, enter, and click. Okay, we're good. So, copy. Select the frame. Get on the midpoint. And click natin dun sa green na midpoint. Or uh, endpoint. Okay? So, let's check. So, that's 3DO. Or, sorry. Uh, that's conceptual. Okay, so that's 3DO. There you go. So, you already have your second uh, metal plate. Okay? So, escape. I'll go back with 2D wireframe and uh, south is. So, that's another quick save. Okay. Next one for this. Aha. So, what I have here are actually series of closed objects. 
Okay, so if things are like this, they are actually no good. Uh huh. So they should be something na buo. Okay, so I'll go back. So this part kasi hindi pa ako nagcut dito. And if just in case that you see things, yan. Sabi ko nga, they should be buo. Hanapin ko lang, baka merong hindi hole dito. The object should be one entity. Hindi siya dapat dalawang arc na pinagsama. Okay, there you go. So, um, I'll erase that. I'll copy this. Okay. Hanapin ko lang. There might be some objects that are not whole. They should be whole. Okay? So, we can easily extrude them. Okay. I think we're almost good at it. pa. Burahin ko lang. I'll copy one. Okay. So, there you go. Okay. I'm good. So, I'm going to control c this one and uh, control v so uh, 3p ko lang or sorry yes 3p para mag align siya al make sure our snap is on okay so i did not trim them here because yun nga, pag tinrim ko siya, hindi mo siya ma-extrude kasi hindi siya buo like this. Anyway, uh, pwede naman sila matakpan later dun sa frame itself. Okay? So, I'm going to delete this one. Yan. Going to erase that. And I'm going to replace with this. And there you go. Okay. Now, I'm just going to copy this because it's the same. Ayan. Same with this and this one. Okay, then we're good to sweep. There you go. So, or pwede din siya actually extrude. Select natin si X, yung smaller rectangle, enter. Meron siyang option na Path. Okay, so select natin yung path and select this part. Okay, just the same. Ah, uh, difference nga lang niya, it's, it, is that uh, if the path is closed, you cannot extrude path. But you can use sweep. Okay, unlike sweep, uh, either the path is closed or not, uh, you can do the act, you can do the, you can execute the command. But if the path is closed. You cannot extrude path. Okay? So, sweep is more flexible than extrude path. Okay, anyway. That sweep. Select this. It's okay if excess siya. Matatakpan naman siya dun sa frame later. Okay? Aha. So, eto. Pwede ko nang tanggalin to. I can just simply erase unnecessary objects. Oh, I cannot erase this. Okay. So, we're good. So, extrude na lang ako. There you go. So, I'll be selecting everything. So, EXT, Enter. I'll be picking from here, up here. And technically, hindi naman to kasama dun sa extrude ko kasi magkakapi lang tayo. And at the same time, these leaves have a thinner extrusion height. Okay? So, to deselect these two frames and these uh, splines, so I'll be holding my shift. That's one, two, Three and four and five. Ibig sabihin, we are deselecting the objects instead of canceling the enter command. Okay? So, enter. Yan sila. So, I want something na manipis na manipis lang. Kasi they are just plates. Uh, maybe at 0 0.00625. That's one fourth an inch. Pero kung titignan mo, makapal pa siya. Pero, uh, okay na yan. Sige. So, enter. There you go. And let us just copy this. Or actually, copy. And select this. Aha. Uh -huh. Enter. Kunin ko dun sa midpoint or dulo. And click here. Okay. So, of course, don't forget to quick save. VSR. 
So, there you go. Oh, meron siyang part. This part is hindi siya na-extrude. Uh, kasi, probably, ayan, it's not a buong object. It might be open. Okay? Sige, what we're going to do is, going to erase this. And we're just going to negative V, F, change our view to front, and just simply copy this. Make sure ortho is on. Okay. There you go. Okay, so my excess, and let's go back to southwest isometric, or southeast. Now, uh, nagpalit tayo ng view, na di disorient si UCS, balik lang natin siya. UCS, enter, enter. Dapat si ZA yung nakapoint pataas. Okay? Now, we have excess here. Aha. Uh -huh. Have to eliminate that, or I have to subtract that using, uh, get to the wireframe. I'll be creating a line. Okay, there you go. Going to extrude that. EXT enter. Select this enter. Lagpas ko siya ng konti. EXT enter. Select the same object. Enter. Click ko na lang dito. Okay? And then SU for subtract. So, anong object yung babawasan natin? So, we will be uh, subtracting volume from here. So, select this and this one. Enter. And then, anong ibabawas natin? Of course, yung lumagpas doon sa frame na yun. So, this one. And enter. Okay? Burahin nyo na to. And almost done with the third one. So, let's just, just check. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay, so that's VS2, negative V, S, E. Okay. Control S to quick save. Now, for this one, uh, again, these objects are buo. But, wala tayong problema sa mga to. But what about these objects that were trimmed? Okay. So, again, I have another one. This part, I did not trim this. So, I served it. Did I serve kusha for that exercise? Okay, so 3P. Okay, ulitin ko, dapat po kasi hanggat maaari, sarado yung object. Okay? Pag in-extrude mo siya or in-applyan mo siya ng any 3D commands. Okay, so there you go. Gawa lang ako na reference line. And I can delete this. And deselect this. Okay. M. Okay. There you go. So, I'm going to extrude. Aha. Uh -huh. Select extrude. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. Enter. Ayaw niya. Okay, let's see. Extrude. Select this, enter. Okay. So, the command doesn't want this. Aha, uh -huh, let's see. One object removed from the self-intersecting. I'm just wondering if meron siya nag-intersect. Which is wala naman. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, uh, my apologies. I'm having a hard time with this. So, I have another design. So, let's try this one. So, I'm going to copy this. Okay, and I'm going to erase this one. Okay. And I'm going to paste this. And then, going to align, uh, probably the object is not properly aligned, okay? So, okay. Let's see. Uh, let's move it upward. Okay, there you go. So, we're good to align. Okay, I'll enter. 
hopefully this one will work as compared to the other one okay my apologies for that so let's see EXT let's select this flowers hopefully this one will work out okay so that's 0 0.00625 just one fourth of an inch there you go we can actually have this web okay or but in addition extrude okay enter and uh or maybe it might be a little matrabaho so let us just make the ad the first at 0 0.0125 the one half inch uh, square bar okay then we can just simply copy things okay or maybe i'll just take the middle part okay so there you go M there you go so we're going to copy for the others again I'll take the midpoint as the base point the lower dito one and two okay you can just mirror this one or I'll try to do that So after copying things, again, one and two. So we're good to sweep. Select sweep. Select this, enter, and click. And enter to repeat. Select this, and so on. So you know the drill. okay almost done you can always check Pinterest for a lot of metalwork ideas which I'm really very fond of because there are a lot of uh, or you can actually get comfortable using AutoCAD with this different type of architectural detailings that's why I mean some of the exercise because uh, CAD uh, metal works talaga because you can easily oh you can easily uh, explore your creativity so again that sweep select this enter and click okay enter to repeat sweep select this enter and select the path enter select and select path okay and then just simply copy this get the midpoint papunta dito okay so vs or so 3DO so you can have something linear or geometrical so anything that is a little abstract uh, something floral or tropical there are a lot of tropical leaves uh, that you can use aside for this this is basic but I know you can explore more of your uh, designs or again if you're running out of creativity okay you can always check Pinterest just like what I always do okay so for the last one mm -hmm. I'm going to copy this this there you go and I'm going to extrude things this one and this and this one is half an inch so that's 0 0.0125 for the extrusion height and let us check it on realistic okay as you enter so we have to subtract the volume of this four uh, boxes here so select this enter 
So there you go. And enter. Okay, so butas na siya. There you go. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this. Ah. Uh, no. Copy. Take the midpoint. Okay. So meron naman tayong reference for the midpoint. Enough ko muna yung ortho. Although you can always copy naman kahit naka on si ortho. Again, this is midpoint. Just be careful. Baka iba mag-snap. Mag-iba yung pagkakakapi ng object. Okay. So, we have another one here. Okay. So, you see, these are sort of patterns wherein you can just create one and make this different designs. Uh, with other software, you can actually have this uh, access in their warehouse or pattern ready-made or presets, but it's always good to know how to model uh, even the tiniest detail of your drawing, okay? So, I'll just copy this. Okay, ko dito. Again, you should be careful. You might be picking the wrong object snaps. Uh, kung masakit mata nyo, ipahinga nyo lang kasi baka magkamali lang kayo. Kasi pagdating sa drafting talaga in modeling, uh, it's really, uh, it will really cause visual fatigue. Okay. So, meron pang isa. Or dito sa part na to. I'm just going to copy this again. So, I'll snap here. Okay. And we have another one here. And where else? This part, this one is... Okay. We're done. Kaya lang we have excess. Even if we copy uh, this frame, maglalabasan pa rin yan. So, what do we do? Uh -huh. I'll be creating a, pwede akong gumamit na line, a straight line. Okay, again, a straight line. I'll be moving this midpoint to midpoint. Okay, and I'll be copying it. Because madami-dami po yung mga isa-subtract natin. Okay. So, I'll first uh, extrude this. Okay. So specific measurement, lagpas lang yung tipong uh, tatamaan po talaga ito. Okay. So, I made the box big. So, to assure that this one will be uh, subtracted, SU. So I'll be selecting this, this, and this. Enter and select this part. Enter. Okay? So let's check. Kung na-subtract nga siya dun sa excess. Again, if matatakpan siya, okay lang na hindi siya masasubtract. Pero if hindi, isubtract nyo na. Kasi if matatakpan din naman, Tapos, isasubtract nyo pa. Sayang lang yung effort. Okay, so I'll be selecting this. So, again, my frame is my uh, reference line kung hanggang saan yung part na makakat. And select this, enter. So, EXT. Select ko to, enter. Okay lang naman na laliman yung volume. We have to assure kasi na talaga matitrim sila or masasubtract. Again, that's SU. So, I'll be selecting this, this, and this. Enter. And select this. Okay. And lastly, EXT. Enter. Of course, I have to quick save. 
exe enter select this drag it upwards uh, sel enter OLED and select this enter again when you press enter it makes a B uh, for example if you have no command in progress and you press enter you are repeating the previous command okay so SU so select this this one and enter and click very good so everything is clean burahin ko na to and maybe I'll just instead of copying this I'll just move it there you go very good okay so check natin 3DO so that's perspective sorry escape and that's perspective and 3DO if you want to add different materials it's fine but uh, I prefer mine as this color just white but if you want them some more gray sorry that's matte okay or if you want to select this and flake satin okay or if you want them to tone, see the frame is black and the uh, interior elements of this panel is white. So, wala pong problema. So, that's it. So I'm going to quick save. So, you're going to render this one. RR. Or sorry, RP ref muna pala. We have to check first. So, you can set your output into a higher uh, resolution. Uh, pwede nyo rin pong i-check yung background ninyo. Okay, let's wait. So, sana and sky sa akin walang problema though you have other option. You want uh, something uh, none or you want gradient but sana and sky na muna. Okay? And then, uh, render size if you want to set it bigger para pag nag-check ako mas mataas yung resolution niya, hindi siya pixelated, I would really prefer. Okay? Current presets, uh, if you really have the time at kaya ng unit ninyo, pwede kahit coffee break quality or kahit high na lang. Okay? So, wag nyo na itong i-maximize kasi uh, kakain niya na madaming oras. Okay? Pag nandun na tayo sa mga complex interior such as bedroom, living room, uh, you reserve your uh, higher settings with that. Okay, so you can check this high. Then, of course, you have to quick uh, to render it by RR, and you're going to submit the JPEG fi file of that. Okay, together with the PDF. Okay, so do not forget the link to submit yung PDF mo na and you are required to design uh, five metal panels. Okay, so ato po yung sukat nila para pareho po tayo ng sukat one meter by. 1.9 and then the frame is uh one uh ano po siya, sorry it's four inches so 0 0.1 okay and the thickness is two inches or 0 0.05 and again you are required to submit five designs 2d muna okay so it's a pdf yung 2d and then yung nakarender nyo na okay so that will be the jpeg okay so these are just sample designs i know you can do better thank you so much